started marketing the 8A pro, um, basically without having it. And actually, I didn't even know what it really could, ha- could do to you, uh. Uh, uh, the impact that it would cause. I just followed people's advice on everything that I could possibly, you know, I, I tried right. everything. Right. And so um, in 2010, so a year later, I actually, um, we were completing a project for the USDA and uh, that was not a day. We were a sub. Okay. It was a pretty large CM at risk contract and uh, relatively large for us. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, everything started happening one at, one at the same time. I actually thought we were not going to get any, we, we weren't going to have any work because in 2010, this is the summer, we, there was nothing really right. in Miami. No. So everything started happening at the same time. And I actually hired 25 people in a month. So wow. basically at the same time, we got a, a contract with Charleston District, a okay. contract with Mobile, and a contract with, um, in Cape Canaveral. So we at the were, same time. At the same time, and I, I, and I also because I'm a believer of not focusing on one market only. I that's kind of scary for me. We we actually actually were also starting a, a contract with Miami Dade County, a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, and as a sub um, sub performing the concrete and the, the shell on a thirty thousand square square feet building. Okay. Um, and so what, what happens is that we went to do a capability briefing on a, in Cape Canaveral. And this is, this is what I called a miracle. Many of the, of the miracles that I have had in my life and also in the journey of this company that, that I have, uh, go, went to do the presentation and, uh, as we were driving back to Miami, in the middle of the road, they called and said, you have a, con- a three and a half million dollar contract. <laughs> wow. We, I mean, like, wow. We were like, what? I mean, we just wanted to be on our knees there and just praising God wow. for the miracle. Because really, a lot of people were closing doors in that time. Yes, yes, and, yes. Um, so, yeah, three and a half million. And then we had two subsequent contracts uh, renewed uh, on the same base. Now, uh, you said it was in Cape Canaveral? Yes. Okay. Now, was that directly with the base or was that with the Corps? No, Air Force. Okay, Air Force. Okay. All right. That was yeah. an Air Force contract. Wow. Now, uh, let's take it. Let's go back. Now, where does the name Lunacon come from? So, Luna, Luna means moon in Spanish. Okay. And uh, con is construction, right? So, uh-huh. um. It's funny, my, my partner, although I started the company, my partner today, who's actually my husband too, we met working for another construction company, a, a large company down in Miami. Uh, we separated, uh, I went my way, I went to be the director of construction for the city of Fort Lauderdale. I, I, I saw I was that. Heading, heading the construction department there. Uh-huh. Left that company and we kept in touch, became very good friends. and. Uh, we also became uh, in, got into a relationship, but we would separate, right? Uh, okay. We would separate, and so when we were separated, we we thought the moon communicated. We communicated through the moon. Oh, it's, wow. it's, it's way too romantic for construction, <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that is a true story. So so when the logo when 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 uh, we sat down with a guy that was doing the logo in Dominican Republic, uh-huh. I said to him, you know, it has to have the moon because it represents God in our lives. And God has to be the center of this company, just like it is the center of our, our lives. So it's way too too much maybe for for this podcast. No, no, I think it's a great story. I, I think that, you know, it's a great backdrop to, to stating, you know, where your vision was headed right from the beginning. Um, and yeah. then you carry that forward. Now, are you from Dominican Republic? Is that where you're from? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that so you are from Dominican Republic, and you had a guy in, over there design it. Yes. So yeah, we didn't have any money, so I was in the garage. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So I had to go. I, I basically uh, sent a text to my brother, and I asked, "Do you have somebody that can design this 
this our logo because it's, it has, I cannot compromise quality because I don't have money. I just right. cannot, uh, you know, money was tight. Yes. I was starting and I, I didn't want to overstay myself, but I, yet I wanted gr greatness. And so that's, that's exactly what happened. He, we w went to Dominican Republic, sat down with him and until he didn't, and he produced what we think is an amazing logo. Actually, we trademark it. And if you have seen it, do you have our, our business cards yes. with you? Yes. So you see four moons, right? Hold on. Let me pull it up in front of me. I'm on your website. Let me get Jackie's card. Yeah, get Jackie's oh. card. <laughs> in the back. Oh, I didn't notice that. You're right. Yes. So the four moons represents four people brainstorming on a plan view. If you look in, look at them from the top, so from the from the from the top to bottom, right. and then uh, it also represents a star. It represents a cross. Mm, it does. I can see it all. Wow, yes. that's pretty so deep. When, so when we're lost, we have a star. We remember we have a star. There's always guiding us beyond what we can see in our uh, in our physical world. Mm -hmm. And we have God as the center of our lives. Wow. No, that's, that's, uh, you know, what? I've seen this car, but sometimes you don't, you just look at the uh, logo. You don't really pay attention to it, but I see it now. I see it. Yeah. Wow. That's great. So now you said you didn't have any money. What made you quit your job at the city of Fort Lauderdale? I mean, it sounds like you had a good job. I'm sure people probably told you were crazy to walk away from that. Right. They did. I know. Okay. Now, can you imagine what, brought me to do such a crazy thing no i can't can you can you can you i guess? mean I, I can take a guess certainly because i i know what that's like when uh you work for the cities and they don't they don't give you your freedom to be able to grow to develop as far as what i've seen um they kind of pigeonhole people uh you can't become like you could you couldn't be doing what you're doing now obviously working uh for the city um uh, maybe you want to help others so I, I, um, it, it, it definitely, I, I did everything I could at that job, and I, it was a, definitely an experience. It, it helps me put myself in the shoes of somebody working for the government. Okay. Uh, I can tell, you know, what they go through. Uh, there's, there's a lot of competent people. But really, um, I had had a dream of having my own company, and the moment in time where in, when it happened, when it really wasn't the most convenient because I was then single with uh, three children mm -hmm. uh, also, it was wow. also an act of faith. So uh, God said, this is the time when you're going to have a company. And it was scary, but it was I was very certain that it was the right time. And yes, people said, that I was crazy. Uh huh. And you just so you just you just quit. Yeah, I said I'm going to start my company. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I, I remember the city manager saying that I wasn't ready to start a company. I remember somebody else saying uh, I that I was are you crazy with three kids? How can you right. do this? You know, yes. you're being irresponsible. Brother, yeah, my brother said, no, the economy is, is tanking. It's horrible that what's going to happen right, right. in finance. Uh, and, and you know what? It just, the, 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 the belief inside was stronger than any of those. The belief in what was possible was stronger than the fear that was trying, was being, in, you know, some people were right, trying, trying to, to impose on you. Like, right. No, that's, a, that's, 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 yeah, it takes a lot of faith. That takes a lot of faith to do. Now, prior to working for the city of Fort Lauderdale, how, how long, how, how much of construction experience did you have before that? I had uh, acquired 17 years of experience. Okay. Okay. So you yeah. knew the industry in and out. So you were yes. pretty versed. Okay. All right. Well, that was, that, I mean, that was good. Uh, I actually came from a real estate background into this. So, oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> so I had to learn like uh, hit, by hitting the ground running. I didn't have any, um, a lot of prior knowledge to pull from. So you walked away, you quit your job, you founded the company, 2007, three kids, uh, you got 8A. How did you learn about the 8A program? Somebody told me, somebody I was working with in the USDA project uh, that I, that I actually, actually after I left the city, uh, the, another miracle 
two days later after I left, two days. Two days. Uh, I got this phone call about this project. Uh, this this architect I have worked with, uh, and my partner too, I worked with in a school. He said I need somebody uh, that can be the owner rep and can be con- doing construction management for on behalf of the owner on this project that was a twenty three million dollar job. So <laughs> yes, I didn't have any work and I didn't market this. I didn't even. It really literally came from God. I think you know it was yeah. just a um, a a, a as a as a remark to say that we had we were in the right track, you know. Right. Um, yes, as a confirmation. A confirmation. That's the word. Thank you. Yeah. A, I'm still trying to learn how to speak English. No. <laughs> I don't know. I think the I think you've done all right just far. You know where you're at. I mean, so keep going, please. So yeah. yeah. So the so two days later, this happens, and it took you. It took the the two worst years of the recession. That contract was was sufficient for that, and yes. uh, and that is exactly what what happened. So I actually forgot your question, the the, the original question. Well, um, so the original question was, how did you learn about the eight eight program? Uh huh. So as I was working on that contract, this this person that was working there said, "Oh, you should you should become eight eight because I was being certified in everything I could possibly certify. I mm-hmm. didn't know what I was doing when I started my business." Mm. Yes, I had already acquired e- e- experience, but as a project manager, right. you know, running construction projects, large projects, but it's not the same. No, no, it's totally different. I agree. I would you agree. know, there's a lot, there's a lot more to owning your own company. Oh, totally, oh absolutely. You know, absolutely. A lot of times we leave our, quit our jobs because we're good technicians and we know, you know, how to do the day to day of whatever technical aspect you know, of, of our duties, but it's not the same as to running a company. Right. So right. I, I basically started going with the flow and, and just receiving guidance from other people. You know, I, I listen a lot to what other people try to tell you. And so one of the things was become 8A. I researched that and I did it. I uh, hired somebody. You might know her. She helped me. Uh, I just didn't want to spend the time right. uh, to, to go through the process. Lourdes Martin Rosa, you probably know her. Yes, yes, I know the name. Yes, I know her. And uh, and I and I got it done, and it was done. And then I, what I did though, I I started marketing it before receiving the, the. When I learned what it could do, then I then I was a, a proactive in the sense that I was traveling everywhere I could possibly go to to learn about it, to expose the company, brand the company with the federal government. Okay. So it okay. didn't take me as long as other people. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. A lot of people they get the 8A and they don't know what to do with it or how to do it. Um, no. And it takes. I've I've had people on this show that it took them eight years before they got their first contract. Now I did spend money though. Because some people don't understand the the value of investing in marketing and and networking and you know, so in the contract that I had, I spent money from the money that we were making. Yes. In marketing, meaning you know Miami, it's basically way south of, of the United States. Yes, yes. We don't have a lot of military action. Here. No, no. For you to get work, you gotta travel. Yes. And that means money and time. Mm -hmm. So you have to multiply yourself because you got to do your day-to-day job Mm -hmm. and you need to do the other job. 